<laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, I wish people could know what happens behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. That is brilliant. The, the, the uh, joy of technology, brother. That's the main oh, thing. Man. Yeah, the beauty of our technology. So anyway, uh, here we are um, on another episode of The Unstoppables, and I'm super excited to have Joseph here. Uh, look, it's a, it's a really big pleasure and a huge honor to have you in the show like man welcome and thank you for making the time the pleasure is absolutely mine brother i've been looking forward to this chat um and it, and honestly speaking i mean the way we interact people might be thinking that we've been friends for like <laughs> decades but you know that i mean you you just sometimes just meet certain people and you just click with them right and that's the main thing um so so thank you thank you so much for having me on the show uh, you are an unstoppable character for sure, and it's 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 a pleasure. It's a pleasure and honor to be part of the Unstoppables crew. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Thank you, brother. And yeah, you're right. Like like I was with with Joy in the in another episode, and and we had the same uh -huh. feeling. You know, we jump on a call, we've been connecting on LinkedIn, like literally for for like weeks, months, if not weeks, and. And when you jump on a call and it's like you've known this person for your entire life and it's like wow we, it, the energy matches so that's great, great. man um thanks man i appreciate you so look um this is raw and unprepared and mm -hmm. i have a bunch of questions that 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 i'm gonna ask you um uh -huh. some of them you might guess some of others you might not um, the first thing that I would like to ask, so whoever doesn't know you in my network or in your network, mm -hmm. uh, gets a little bit of idea of, idea of who you are. So who okay. is Joseph Sahev Youssef? This is really hard to pronounce for a Spaniard. <laughs> Love that. Well, you know, we, we can we can give you, <clears throat> a, you know, an accent training class later on. But, uh, <laughs> but, but apart from that, apart from that, I mean, honestly, I think that's that's one of the mo that's one of the hardest questions a person can ask someone. That, that is, yeah, who are you, right? In my opinion. So, who am I? Um, now, it's it's interesting. It's an interesting uh, conglomeration of elements which make up who I am as a person. So if you're following me on LinkedIn, you might have actually seen a little bit of a banner which I use on some of my posts, which says, uh, born in India, raised in a in Singapore. And that's yeah. pretty much who I am. So I was born in India, uh, based out of Calcutta. Uh, so I uh, did my schooling there. Then I moved to Australia when I was 17 years old. Uh, basically had my entire corporate career uh, and basically grew up there. Uh, you know, you know, became a man. So, And then uh, presently here in Singapore now for the last uh, seven years. So yeah, that's, that's right. So for those of you who are a little bit confused as to why this guy uh, you know, sounds like a Brit or an Aussie mix, but he's brown in color. It's because I was just burnt too long in the oven to start with. So uh, <laughs> that's me. That's me. That's me. Love it, man. Love it. Love it. Love the sense of humor. Yeah, man. Like, it's interesting because um, I lived in Sydney for a long time. And, and then mm -hmm. you, you meet people from all nationalities. That's one of the things that I love from about Australia the most. And mm -hmm. everyone... You know, you meet like like a, a guy from India. They would have like an Indian accent. You meet like a bloody Spaniard like me. We would I would have like a very strong Spanish accent, right? Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. And then I was talking to you. I'm like, I'm not getting it. Like this accent, where is this accent from? And I had no idea where you were. I was totally confused. So so that makes <laughs> sense. Um, good good answer. Um, I, I I wanted you to go a little bit deeper. In okay. who is Joseph? Give us the okay, good well, thing. <laughs> well, you know, it's 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 again, you know, it's it's an interesting question because you know, once you start opening the book, you know, you just keep going, right? And that's the main thing. But you know, in in essence, uh, I'm the um, I'm an only child of a single mother. Um, I have faced adversities throughout my life. Uh, you know, since I was a year and a half old. Uh, till till now, even I mean, there have been multiple times, uh, multiple occasions where I have literally, literally gone up against a, a stiff brick wall, quite literally, and you know, there's no way around it, no way through it, and you know, it's 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 something which, in my opinion, has made me the person who I am. Uh, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of my friends, actually tell me that you know, you are wise be beyond your years, 
And it's just because perhaps I have actually uh, gone through so many situations extraordinary. And I think, you know, that's, that's so important to keep in mind. I think adversities and experiences is what makes a person. That's what strengthens yeah. the foundation of a person's character. And I'm a big yeah. believer of that. And, you know, thank you so much for everyone who's see, you know, Joy, uh, Misuchi, Shalini, uh, Rajiv, you know, so many people joining in, you know, uh, all yeah. amazing friends from, from LinkedIn, uh, some of whom I've had the honor to meet in person. Uh, but in, in essence, in essence, uh, you know, that's, that's my personal side of things to an extent. Um, I've got, I've got three amazing kids who are my inspiration and my motivation, of course. And uh, I don't know what I would have done without them. They are, uh, they are the reason for my sanity, as I like to say. And uh, apart from that, I mean, uh, professionally, uh, I have always, always been in client-facing roles. So in, in sales, business development and marketing, essentially. So I've always been like, you know, facing clients, even though I've got a complete financial background in university and a science background in, uh, in school. So a lot of people are like, hmm, so you studied to become... Uh, you know, uh, a mechatronical engineer, because that is exactly what I was supposed to be doing, by the way, Carlos. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I had like physics, <laughs> physics, so chemistry and computer science. And I was I was actually, um, you know, I had been into uh, UC Berkeley in, in uh, Los Angeles, uh, as well as uh, University of Alberta, Dundee in Scotland in mechatronical engineering. So and robotics. So my, I wanted to go into wow. NASA because uh, my, my childhood dream was to become a fighter pilot, which uh, was squashed uh, for a reason, for personal reasons. My my grandma was like, you know, I'm the only grandson, so to speak. You know, she didn't want me to become an Air Force pilot. Uh, she didn't of want course. me to die, so to speak. So uh, I wanted to, I wanted to become an astronaut. So I was like, you know, I have to get into the mechatronical engineering and stuff. So I was like, yeah, well, you know, NASA is the way. So but. Uh, so that's my schooling, physics, chemistry, and computer science. But after that, uh, I went to completely went into a different path altogether. And I ended up going to university in Melbourne, in Australia, which I. And, uh, you know, such amazing memories. And uh, I started, um, you know, completely different field. Absolutely. In finance and account. Financial advisor. I've always worked in the financial services sector. However, I've never actually tallied anyone's books. So, you know, I'm a CPA, but I've never, never sort of, uh, you know, brought out the calculators to do any calculations. I know my financial <laughs> stuff, of course, but I've always been in client facing roles in the financial services or related industries. So it's, it's really interesting. I mean, uh, I, I thrive on, I love meeting new people as well as uh, basically building relationships. Uh, so that's, yeah. that's one of the main reasons as to why I guess uh, people call me the human CRM. I'm connecting people. Yeah. I'm, I'm connecting uh, people, having that emotional connect uh, with regards to relationships, both with clients and friends from around the world. So, yeah. Yeah, man, you're good at that. You're definitely good at that. That's Very funny that you, you, you were an engineer. I, I got an engineering degree as well. I never used uh -huh. it. Um, but yeah, it's a good point. Like, like, you know, as you said at the beginning, like experiences and hard times, it's what shapes you in, in, into the man or the person that you are today. People think, mm -hmm. or people want life to be easy, but if life is easy, unfortunately, you're not going to be learning as many things as when things get, you know, get tough or challenges. Mm -hmm. Going through challenges yep. is the most beautiful thing someone can do because if you don't give up, if, it, if, it, if, it, if you don't let it get you, you get out like reinforced and being a completely different person. So that's awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you. So look, um, yep. you're the human CRM and you're really good mm -hmm. at building uh, connections. And uh, I'm guessing that there is a purpose, there is a vision behind that. So the day, I hope that happens like in many, many, many years, but the day that we are Thank like, um, I'm older than you, that, uh, you know, the day that, that we are at the, at the funeral and we say some words about you, what would you like people to remember you for? What's the impact uh, that you want to make in this world? Wow, wow! You you are asking some loaded questions, brother. Okay, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean the impact. I mean, everyone wants to make an impact, right? Interesting. I actually yeah. did a did a did a post on this a, a couple of days ago with with regards to influence and impact, and uh, 
I had I had someone actually ask me who's another connection of mine from LinkedIn saying that you know people are wanting to become an influencer in today's <laughs> world especially with social media right everyone's yeah. seeing like you know the the glitterati photographs and you know all the all the embellishments and everything but they don't realize that on most occasions uh, you have to keep in mind a couple of things people who've really made it they've had to go through a lot of struggles and you don't see yeah. those struggles and there are lots of people and unfortunately in my opinion in my opinion uh please please don't bash me uh whoever's watching uh, in my humble opinion there are so many people who actually don't to what they actually show in real life so that's the reason why i always say that you all must always ensure that your life and your real life should be one and the same you must yeah. be able to walk the talk, whichever industry, yeah. whichever field you're in, and that is essential across any industry. So, I mean, um, what I would say is like, uh, what I would ideally like on my epitaph, uh, on my grave. I don't know, maybe something along the lines of, he walked the talk, or you know, this this guy actually, you know, uh, he he was a man of integrity. And, and, and I say it with the utmost respect. Uh, what I mean by that is like, you know, words like authenticity. Not a lot of people actually, actually sort of adhere to it or actually are or actually. That's the main thing. I mean, in my opinion, you know, whatever I've done throughout my life, across my career, both my, you know, my personal as well as my professional relationships, I personally at least feel and think that no one can actually tell me and raise a finger and tell me that you have done wrong by me. Have I made mistakes? Perfect. No one is. But that's the, that's the essence. You know, embrace your imperfections. However, always make sure that whatever you do, you, the actions you take, the choices you make are based on who you are as a person, the character you are, and also the integrity that you embody. So something along the lines of like, uh, you know, this, this guy, this guy has a lot of integrity, something along those lines. Did we lose you, Carlos? I'm moving. Not sure what's happening here. I think, I think, I think perhaps Carlos uh, is frozen and I'm on his life. There you are. You, you're, you're on mute, brother. You're on mute. Carlos, you're on mute. You are on mute, brother. Okay, is it... You're well? unmuted now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, sorry. I think that's that's the beauty of technology that we were talking about before. I had to switch the camera and the, the microphone because the, for some reason it stopped working. So whatever. Uh -huh. We're going to make it work. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's so all right. I was, just, I, was just telling, I was just telling everyone about you which you don't want them to hear. So that's it. <laughs> I was asking, can we write Joseph was fucking awesome? And that's it. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Go for it, brother. Go for it. You're, you're you're very kind. You're very very kind. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, sorry, guys, for the for this interruption. As you see now, I don't look no as worries. good as I used to because my camera is another one. My microphone is another one. But we got back. Um, so anyway, another question that I have for you is: What is what is the most important project that you're working on at the moment? What's what's lighting your fire right now? Oh, that's uh, that's that's a fantastic question, and and the reason why I have a, a big smile on my face is because um, there is something which I'm working on, which I have been working on for the last couple of months at this present moment, and uh, and it's 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 in a it's in a very very um, interesting situation and position at this moment. So it is it is confidential, uh, at least for the next couple of weeks, at least. Uh, but uh, all I'm going to say is watch this space. Uh, there is something really, really interesting, something big that's on its way, which is going to affect millions of people around the world. So hopefully, hopefully I will be part of a, a group which is actually going to be uh, 
bringing on this change moving forward. So that's something which is really exciting to me. Man, building anticipation. You've answered the question without answering <laughs> that's what the question. I do. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I told, I told, I told, I told all the viewers uh, prior to the live that, uh, you know, the first time I spoke to you, the first time I interacted with you, you reminded me of a Hollywood movie star. Uh, Carlos, oh. can you guess which movie star I'm talking about? Man, I would go from anything with Brad Pitt on it to uh -huh. Terminator going through The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> you well, tell me. Well, um, the the movie star who who came to my mind when I spoke to you for the first time and when I saw your videos on LinkedIn and before we got connected was Antonio Banderas. Oh, so and no. I was like, and I was like, I was like, he reminds Banderas. Now you 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 know I'm telling you now everyone who's watching right just just picture Carlos wearing a bandana with like eye slits and a sombrero, right? And and, and slashing around with a, with, with a foil. So man, I'm telling you, you're Zorro, brother. You're Zorro. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I would have preferred like, I don't know, Solzenager, maybe, but it's okay. Banderas is cool. He's Spanish. Uh, good, man, I like that. There you go. Um, I, might, I might get a, a hat and sombrero and a bandana. See how I look like. Mate, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you should do that as your next LinkedIn profile picture. Okay, I will do. <laughs> At some point, I will do. I don't know when, but let, give me some time, okay, to process the information. The unstoppable <laughs> Antonio Banderas. <laughs> yeah, Zorro, Zorro um, in Spanish, when you say someone, you are un Zorro, a Zorro is a fox. And someone who is a Zorro means someone who is like, you know, kind of witty, um, smart, sneaky sort of thing. So, yeah, yeah kind of fits the purpose. I like it. Awesome, so awesome. I got two more questions, mate. Um, Continue with the interrogation. Yeah, yeah. Like I would like you to give like all the people that are watching us, uh, your network, my network, and everyone that might catch a replay, what is the one killer piece of advice that you can give them? Like give them your best golden nugget, mate. Don't hold anything back. Wow, there, there are there are lots of there. Are... Uh, I think now we're losing Joseph. No, um, no, I'm fine. I'm I'm here. I'm okay, here. okay. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so see, see, I'm telling you. See, see, even 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 technologies like you know this guy has got nuggets to share, but they may not be golden. <laughs> but so uh, jokes jokes apart. I, I um. You know, there, there's this something which I have personally been a uh, few months and it's something which I came, uh, came across online, which is you need to have blanket decisions with regards to certain situations. What do I mean by that? Uh, regardless of what happens, you need to make sure that uh, if for any reason you want to say no to something, you have to say no with regards to anything and everything across that entire situation. So, for example, I'm, I'm going to take an example right here. Uh, and that's a relatable example at this present moment. So on LinkedIn, right, uh, when some a connection request, if I see anything to do with Bitcoin, Forex, cryptocurrency, etc., my blanket decision is to ignore. Simple as that. I don't care whether you have one connection, whether you have a million followers, it doesn't matter. That's a blanket. And there are, there are simple blanket decisions that you can make to make your time more productive. And that is the main thing. It. This is basically a, a bit of like a productivity hack. So a couple of other blanket decisions that I have made is because, uh, you know, I, I get invited to, to, to sort of uh, attend and be a guest on quite a few podcasts. So a blanket decision that I've made is like the latest I'm ever going to be on a podcast is at midnight. Be on a podcast is at 8 a.m. Even though I'm awake till 2, 3 a.m. in the morning, I'm not going to be on that podcast. So something along those yeah. lines, you know, these, these are blanket decisions. So like whenever someone 
reaches out with regards to being on a show or, or reaches out to be a connection, I use these blanket decisions just so that I am not questioning my decision sometimes. And yeah. that is where a lot of us falter. We question the decisions at every step of the way. Yeah. And that is why that is why a lot of times we, you know, we waste so much time. And that's where it's essential to before so that you know that anything that happens which is related even remotely to you know your answer and you know your yeah. response this is a freaking great advice this is a great advice and and actually it saves so much time and it's thanks for sharing that and i just i was you were talking and i was thinking about times that i do that and i i tend to do that a lot and then i was mm -hmm. thinking what well, the clients that i work with and the people that i work with I see that the people that get success quickest are the ones that take decisions quick smart and they make a decision, boom, they take action. And sometimes we get we get stuck and lost in the making a decision process. And and look, um, there is a there is a, a theory that it's it's about the, how the human brain works. Um, when you make a decision, you make a decision way faster than you realize. When you understand, when you are conscious about your decision, you've made it long ago. So it's if you can shorten this process, you'll make better decisions mm -hmm. and you'll get better results. Um, I, I do the same. I, if something needs to give me a weight and it's gonna make me sleep less than the seven or eight hours that I need to sleep every day, I don't do it. I don't do it mm -hmm. because then I, I have the whole week like after afterwards I'm 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 a mess. So so yeah, that's 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 a great advice, man. Thank you. <laughs> happy 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 to know that it was a hopefully a golden nugget rather than a bronze one. So <laughs> it is a golden nugget, um, but it's half a golden nugget because now the other half it depends on whoever is watching to implement this Spot because on. this is easier Spot said on. than done. Sometimes mm -hmm. we say, yeah, I'll do that. And then like, oh, should I do that now? Or is that an exception? Don't do exceptions. Yes. Choose your blanket, your blanket decision and, and just apply it. So mm -hmm. great. Precisely. Precisely. Awesome. Good, Precisely. man. So I've got one tricky question for you. Tricky. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> what is this question? Well, not tricky, but I want you to think about what you're going to give, the answer that you're going to give me. And it is, I mm -hmm. want to know, what is the most useless talent that you have? <laughs> okay, that is, that is an interesting question. The most useless talent that I have. Okay. I have to think about this, brother. I mean, ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, I, I, I guess there are a few, but um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about one one in my opinion useless talent. Okay, um, I am I'm very very good at target practice. So those of you who don't know, that's basically you know shooting at at stationary targets with a gun. Um, I I used to I used to actually I used to um, you know when I was in school in in university as well. Be, uh, be part of the the school and the college uh you know shooting team as well so um yeah i mean i'm, I'm very very good at skeet shooting i've never lost a single competition in my life uh when it wow. comes to uh shooting shooting uh, a gun i'm not talking about a handgun i'm talking about either um uh, you know a, a shotgun or or a or, or a rifle so uh so yeah but uh, i've always I, i've loved it uh in my opinion but uh, yeah, I think that's a useless talent, quite literally, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not an assassin for hire, so uh, <laughs> it's, it's useless. But, yeah, I mean, look, I wouldn't like, for example, in my case, I can touch yeah. the tip of my nose with the tip of my tongue. This is uh -huh. fucking useless. Now, if we were, <laughs> if this pandemic was were going to on for for a long time, and we were in a zombie kind of apocalypse, like in the movies. Your yeah. skill would be really, really useful, man. Um, Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. I'll, I'll invite you to think about a, a something even more useless than that. Uh, I would, I would, uh, yeah. And it, it's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the thing that that's the thing that actually came to my mind. Um, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, oh, I mean, there's another. There's another useless talent I have. I mean, okay, okay. so uh, okay. and this is something which I've noticed. Which I've noticed is like. Uh, 
so when 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 you when uh, you know you know how it is like um i can i can actually take a lot of pain my pain receptors in my hands are are, are in in my opinion sometimes there right so and the reason why i'm saying it is because like and i first discovered it when i was very young and i was lighting my birthday cake so and i was i was using a candle to light all the other candles and the and the warm wax was actually melting and falling on my hand and i didn't even realize it so i mean, i don't know that, that's also <laughs> useless talent in my opinion. I, I don't know yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting question sorry man but if these are your useless talents i would love to know your your useful talents <laughs> yes i'm getting superhuman man um but <laughs> but it's good it's good man it's good that's 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 all the questions i had for you uh -huh. Uh -huh. um you mentioned that you're good with finances and account and this kind of numbers which which they drive me nuts maybe we could talk outside mm -hmm. uh this show and you can help me out <laughs> No, absolutely, brother. Always, always happy, always happy to sort of try and assist. Uh, I mean, like, obviously, thank you to everyone who's watching. Now, I have a couple of questions for Carlos, okay. because I would like the network or our combined networks to know you a little bit better, brother. Okay. Uh, so that, that's, I think we're running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two questions. Go ahead. First okay. question. First question. If, if you could uh, choose to be a flavor of ice cream, which which flavor of ice cream would I be in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck. This is a loaded question because I love, I love, mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know what it's name in English, but this chocolatey kind of flavor, but I'm not chocolate. I love vanilla, but I'm fucking not vanilla. Um, I would say I would go to something spicy, like if there okay. is, like yeah. Yeah, well, like, you, know, you you can have you can have uh, you know a, a Neapolitan uh, ice cream, which is chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla with with cinnamon spices added to it. There you go. <laughs> it would be chocolate, vanilla, and chili. Yeah. Ooh, nice definitely. one. Interesting. Definitely. Interesting. <laughs> That's question for you, one. brother. Second question for you. If okay, you sure. could take the place of a world leader or a celebrity, whether living or dead, for one day, who would it be and why? It would be Nelson Mandela. Love it. Awesome. And I, I, don't have, I, don't think, I don't have to think much about that. He, yep. he is like the biggest, I get goosebumps as I talk about that. But what he did when he got out of prison and he wasn't or didn't he didn't express any kind of resentment and he wouldn't say, hey, okay, now let's work together to make this happen. Man, this is something this emotional intelligence and emotional control is something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I really wanna see how he did that. So yeah. this would be my 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 one. <laughs> Love that answer. He, he is he is an inspiration for, I don't know, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people worldwide. So yeah. awesome answer, brother. Awesome answer. I'm yeah. going to I'm going to let you off the hook. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to sort of uh, let you off the hot seat, brother. <laughs> uh, don't, don't leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks a lot for being here. And, and look I'm forward to further connection. And, and hopefully when this pandemic blows away, we can get together and do a life in the same using the same camera <laughs> absolutely brother i look forward to throwing some tomatoes at you at la tomatina <laughs> let's put it that way <laughs> <laughs> thanks thanks joseph thanks a lot man Th th thanks thanks brother it was a pleasure it was a pleasure and thank you to everyone who's watching appreciate it thanks man thanks a lot